Hi everyone, this is Nick, and in today's video, I wanted to show you a quick tip on how you can create this uh, watermark on your PowerPoint slide. So a lot of times, if you are working collaboratively in a PowerPoint presentation or a report, you might want to make sure that everybody knows it's a draft report, or maybe you want to know, want everyone to know that this is confidential, um, and you're not ready to present it to the world yet. So you want to add this draft. Um, this draft or confidential sort of watermark on all of your slides. And you could, in this case, uh, I have a slide right here and I actually just inserted a text box on a slide in normal view. And I could copy this text box and I could paste it on all of the other slides that I have in my presentation. Or you can paste, you can put in the de uh, text box just one time and have it apply to every single one of your slides. And you have to do that by just working with uh, the master slide view option on your PowerPoint slide. Anything that you want to appear on every single slide, you should just go into the master slide view and add it to that master slide. And that will then effectively apply that uh, text box or whatever you put there um, to every single slide that you create in your PowerPoint deck. So I wanted to kind of show you this example here. This is one of the slides that I've used before in my videos, and maybe I want to apply that draft report uh, text to this. All you need to do is go to the from the home tab, go up to the view tab, and then click over here under master views, click on slide master. When you click on the slide master, it's going to show you over here, it's already going to highlight the uh, slide layout that you're using on that slide. But what I want to do is go all the way up here to the number one. This is the parent slide in the master slide view. So anything that you place on this parent slide will show up on every single slide layout that you put into your PowerPoint deck in normal view. So in this case, all I want to do is go to the home tab in the, in the slide master view. We're going to insert a text box. And I'm just going to insert that anywhere right here. And let's just say I want to say draft report. And then from here, just like you normally would, we're going to update it. I'm going to update this to an extra bold. We're going to uh, make it really light gray. And I'm just going to increase the size here. And if I wanted to fill the entire slide, I'm just going to use the um, sliders here to make it as wide as the slide. And I'm going to center it. And then let's go ahead and just make it really big like that. I'm just going to put it there. If I wanted to align it, I could align it to the middle. That would be pretty nice. And then maybe I'll align it to the center. That's pretty nice. Now, when I click back on the View tab here, and then I go to the Normal Slide View, now you can see that draft um, report has been applied to every single one of my slides. And it's not a text box that I can edit. Anything you put on the master slide, on the parent slide like that, you're not going to be able to edit it in normal view. So that's uh, one uh, sort of trick that you can use if you don't want anything moved on the slide like that. But you can see here that it's going to appear behind everything else that you put on the slide. So in this case, I have a chart, and you can't really see that draft report. So maybe I want to edit it so that this uh, little um, watermark maybe appears just in the corner of each of my slides. So I'm going to go back to the master view, slide master there, go back up to that parent tab right here, and then let's go ahead and decrease the size of this. I'm going to align it left, and then maybe in this case, we'll do it a little bit smaller. Maybe in this case, I don't want it to be gray. Maybe I want it to be red. So I'm going to fill it. Um, I'm actually going to fill the text with white. And then the text box itself, I'm going to go up to the Shape Format tab and fill with red. And then I'm going to move it down here to my corner. Now let's go back to the uh, normal view and see what happens. And now you can see this draft report icon right here has been added to the bottom of my slides. Now every single slide, other slide that I've created in this deck uh, now has that draft report watermark uh, or um, you know indicator text there on the bottom. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice way to just add something to your slide that you want to apply to every single slide uh, in the rest of your deck. I hope you like this video and I hope you give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell next to it every time um, I post a new video in data design, usually PowerPoint, Excel, or Word. You will get notified uh, of that if you hit that little bell next to it. I had a great time making this video for you and I hope to see you all next time. Thank you.